What's going on, YouTube? Cozy Jones here. And I just want to quickly shed light on this whole NFL brawl situation that happened two days ago. Or two nights ago, I should say. And I just have a question for all those people who are calling into question why Mason Rudolph, Randolph, wasn't suspended as well. And my question is, what did he do that would warrant a suspension? Because a lot of people, are, you know, are just talking and saying that he probably said something to him, uh, you know, he probably called him the N-word, he probably said something about his mom or whatever. That's all hearsay. You don't know that, to, you know, you don't, you don't know that, to, you know, for sure. <clears throat> but what we do know is what we saw. Miles Garrett, mind you, and I think him being suspended the way he was suspended indefinitely had a lot to do with his history. He has a history, he has a laundry list of illegal hits and late hits on, you know, opposing players. He has, he, this, is, this is him. I don't see no difference between him and Albert Hainsworth. I don't see any difference between him and, uh, you know, and Dama Kinsu. I don't see any difference between him, Miles Garrett, and um, Vontaze Burfecht. I don't. Why... Why is anyone, def like, everyone should be condemning this guy and solely condemning him, not worrying about, well, what about Mason Randolph? He didn't get no suspended. What did he do that would warrant a suspension? What did he do? <clears throat> Somebody tell me. What did he do? Because we can't speculate on what could have been said. You can't do that. You have to worry about what we see, the evidence. And then what we saw was this man threw a pass late in the game. I think eight seconds left from what I from what uh from what I was told. Eight seconds left, you know, because you know when they show the kind of replay, they don't show the clock, the the time, time the time limit or whatever. And you see Miles Garrett come and tackle this man, and you know, clearly forces him to the ground, tries to drive him into the ground deliberately. But why? The game was already over. You guys are up by two touchdowns. Why are you, you know, why are you doing the most? And I can understand because <clears throat> it's it's like it's like when a team is doing like in the two minute drill. For those who are football fans, you know what I'm talking about. When you're in the two minute drill, the two minute war, two minute offense, you make a play. Certain defensive player is gonna hold your leg after a tackle and try to you know kill time. So I get the frustration. Me, even though the game was out of hand, the game already, the game was already over. So then why would Miles Garrett go and tackle him like that? So the court, the young quarterback, he probably felt like he was being bullied or, you know, messed with, you know, and he had a sorry game. Like, he had a poor game. So he was probably embarrassed. You know, just, punished, just wanted to stand up for himself. People were saying, oh, he grabbed Miles Garrett's helmet too. Yeah, he grabbed his helmet. People's helmets get grabbed all the time. That's a 15-yard penalty. That's a, that's a fat face mask, Right? But what Miles Garrett did, not only did he grab his face mask, he took his entire helmet off, the quarterback, and then swung at his head. He could have killed this man. <coughs> he could have killed him. But everyone seems to just ignore that or gloss over that, that little detail. Luckily, he hit him. With the part of the helmet that's cushioned, the the, the, the inner lining is the helmet. He hit him with that part. Let's say the the helmet was upside down, and he hit him on the with, with the crown of the helmet on the crown of his head. He could have just dropped, passed out, slumped over. I don't know, or killed, severe brain damage, whatever. This is the same quarterback who got knocked out, who had a concussion a few weeks back from, you know, playing the Ravens. Earl Thomas, if I'm not believe, if I'm not mistaken, knocked him out. So he already has a history of concussions, <clears throat> and Miles Garrett chooses to go do that. <clears throat> Come on, folks, and and I haven't heard, I, well, I haven't seen it yet, but I, I'm just hoping no one's trying to make this a race thing. I hope this is not a racial thing.
it's quite silly, man. Um, I don't know, man. That's but that's my two cents, man. I, I, he, Mason Randolph, I think that's his name. It's Rudolph or Randolph, whatever. He did nothing that would warrant suspension. So I don't even know why people are calling for suspension. I don't know why. Even his offensive lineman, the guy Pouncey, I believe, that kicked Miles Garrett was on the ground. I don't condone that either. But it's understandable. <coughs> You hit his teammate with a helmet. So I get it. But I don't, I don't condone it. I mean, well, that's my two cents on that. Um, I'm glad he got an indefinite suspension. Rightfully so. He deserves it. And I hope it bleeds over into next season. I'm out.